my most amazing top teners, how are you beauties doing today? Are you ready to talk about the future? I'm Rebecca Felgate and this is the top 10 futuristic technologies coming very soon. The world continues to change with technology reshaping the way we live our lives. What is coming next? What do we have in the pipeline? Some of the things on this list may shock you. In at number 10, we have video contact lenses. This is insane! Sony has filed a patent application for what seems to be the world's first smart eyes. In something reminiscent of a Black Mirror episode, the Tokyo based firm is in the process of creating contact lenses that record and play back video footage. Sony's smart lenses will be able to understand commands using extended eye blinks, as well as record footage with special technology that will remove all black frames from blinking. The contacts will also be able to take photos and have zoom capabilities. Like, what is this? In at number 9, we have foldable phones. Expected to launch late this year, Samsung are working on a bendable mobile phone or cell phone. Harking back to the good old days of flip phones but with modern day sleek screen technology, the Korean company are expected to release their prototype sometime this spring. The clamshell style design will make carrying around this technology way more convenient. In at number 8, we have self driving cars. Self driving cars are actually already a thing, but it is only only a matter of time before they are a worldwide phenomenon. Currently in use by Uber in the American city of Pittsburgh, as well as in a testing stage by car company Tesla and also by Google, self driving cars look to cut out human error in crashes, which is behind 95% of all crashes. We aren't just talking about autopilot here either, these cars will have full capability to drive without human intervention. While this would be useful to many, there are of course some safety concerns that are being addressed and stamped out before a public release of these vehicles. Many are saying we could see driverless cars making their way into the mainstream by 2018. In at number 7, we have a Star Wars speeder bike. Remember the speeder bikes from Star Wars and how in Return of the Jedi they went on that awesome bike chase? Well, that kind of flying bike fun can be had by you for reals and it could be yours to have very, very soon. Say hello to Aero X a hover bike that could be out later this year. The Aero X is a two seater flying bike that travels at a top speed of 43 miles per hour or 72 kilometers per hour. Predominantly designed for off road adventures, the videos of the bike in its testing stage look amazing. The flying bike also comes with a pretty cool price tag of $85,000. Worth it though. In at number 6, we have personal robots. We have been talking about it for years, and yes, robots on some kind of level do exist, but not in the kind of dystopian land run by humanoid robots that many have imagined. Or not yet, anyway. Anyway, robot technology is still advancing, with the future heading towards the norm of having a personal assistant robot. One current robot in the making is Curie, the robot nanny. Curie looks so cute, like a little robot penguin friend, probably because a Pixar animator was involved in the design process. Half pet, half slave, Curie is a kind of mobile security robot allowing you to access inbuilt cameras remotely from your phone, meaning that you could check up on your pets and even your children when you aren't home. Curie can also play music and perform other various small commands. It's only $800, which is actually less than a new iPhone, but way, way cooler. These are going to be out at the end of this year, and I'm kind of interested. In at number 5, we have Amazon delivery drones. So these have already been tried and tested and a drone parcel delivery is on the cusp of commercial release. In December 2016, Amazon Prime Air delivered a TV streaming stick and a bag of popcorn into a garden of a customer's house in Cambridge, United Kingdom. In a 13 minute click to delivery turnaround, the first parcel delivered by drone was a success and there's a lovely little video about it on Amazon. At the moment the service is not commercially available, but when it is, presumably when Amazon can handle the demand, we could start seeing our packages literally being delivered from the sky. Currently drones can only deliver in daylight and in good weather, but the technology is continuing to be expanded, so we'll see. In at number 4, something I'm very interested in, we have 3D printed food. Cooking, be gone. 
very soon we will be able to print our food. 3D printing has really taken off this decade, with the first 3D printed bridge placed in Madrid in Spain in February 2017. People have had the ability to 3D print meals for a couple of years, however 3D food printers are not yet available to the public. This could be very well the future though, at the moment 3D food printers are able to handle requests for dishes with just a few ingredients like pizzas and pastas. A company called Foodini are creating these printers commercially and they could be ready to ship as soon as spring 2017. This could be the future! No more cooking when you have to get home, just pop the printer on. Ok so from food to body parts, it seems like there is nothing a 3D printer can't create. And at number 3 we have 3D printed organs. Australian engineering company Invitec and San Diego regenerative medicine company Organovo have collaborated to work towards a printer that is able to create 3 dimensional tissues on demand. It is hoped that as they continue to work on the product, they will soon be able to print things like veins and arteries. They estimate within 5 years, heart bypass surgeries could incorporate printed body parts. And of course, why stop there? If they continue to develop this technology, it is thought that within the next 10 years, scientists would be able to print organs, teeth, and even bones. Crazier still, guys, this could start happening this year. Crazier still, this next one is happening this year. In at number two, we have a body transplant. Russian computer scientist Valery Spiridonov hopes to be the first person to undergo a full body transplant. It is insane that modern technology even allows allows us to debate this kind of surgery. The 32 year old has linked with Italian surgeon Dr Sergio Canavero to undergo the procedure, never before attempted by a human. If successful, he will be able to walk for the first time in his adult life. Spiridonov volunteered to be somewhat of a human guinea pig for this complicated procedure, as of yet only partially successfully carried out on a dog and a monkey. Any questions as to how this will work? Let this picture of Dr Cannavaro with some spaghetti and a banana just explain it all for you. Finally, coming in at number one of the futuristic technologies you could see very soon, I'm the most excited about this, we have space travel. As you may know, Virgin Galactic is testing the water with commercial space travel. So far only 550 people have been to outer space and with a world filled with a population of around 7 billion, that really isn't many of us. As it is at the moment, you need to be an astronaut to go to space, but Virgin is working on the technology to safely transport civilians. Already 700 people have booked to fly when the time comes. A seat by the way, costs a quarter of a million dollars. To be honest though, if I had that money, I would absolutely pay it, because space. The first flight is expected imminently within a year or so. As the CEO of Virgin Galactic once said, space is not only important for the future of transportation, but it is important for the future of imagination. And what better way to end this video? Imagination and technology go hand in hand, and I for one cannot wait to see what the next 10 years brings us. Who knows how we'll be watching our videos then? Seriously, the mind boggles. So guys, if you like this video, let me know what your favourite thing coming soon is. I for one am pretty excited about the 3D printed food. Mm-hmm. I'm Rebecca Felgate. If you want to leave me a comment in the comment section down below, please do so, and I'll try and respond to as many of you as I possibly can. But for now, if you like this video, make sure you show me by giving it a good thumbs up, sharing it with someone who'll find it interesting, and of course subscribing to our fabulous top 10 list channel. And I will see you beauties next time.